Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can style your pickup items. Now in the last few videos we've been working on our inventory system and we created this wood pickup. So when I press play, select one of my characters and go pick up that item over here, you are going to see it gives you the wood in the inventory, but as of right now, it is just this one big sphere in terms of the physical representation. So if I go to the viewport, you can see all the player is collecting, it's a little sphere. So I'm gonna show you how you can replace this with a proper logs mesh. Now this mesh and this texture I've downloaded from the internet. And if you wanna get other kind of items, you can either model it yourself or download it from places like the marketplace and alike. So inside of the RPG assets, I've actually included two new pickup items you've got one for the key and one for the logs and the one that we're going to be working with today is the logs so we're going to be importing the mesh setting up the material and then putting it into our wood pickup what i'm also going to be doing is duplicating this wood pickup and then using the pickup item files for the key as well to set that up and get it looking right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So what I'm gonna do is inside of my content browser, inside of blueprints and pickup items, I'm actually gonna create a new folder and I'm just gonna give this the name wood. And I'm gonna open this up and then with this, with the latest version of the RPG assets downloaded, just go to your pickup items and then logs and there's going to be two files in there. If you haven't, all you've got to do is just make sure you have got the latest, ver uh, latest version of the files and then you are going to be good from there. So the files that you are after are these. So you should have logs underscore mesh, logs underscore normal and logs underscore diffuse. What I'm going to do is just click drag and drop to import them into my content browser. You're gonna to have to give it a couple of seconds to load up. Sometimes it can take a little while. And then once that's done, we can start working on the material and then bring it into the game. So with this stuff, the FBX import options, just go ahead and press imports for now. Uh, just leave the settings completely as they are, as out of the box, they should work pretty well. Now you'll notice here it's trying to create a material. I'm going to open this up and just make some changes to this to make it look the way that I want it to. If you don't have a material being created, just right click and then create a new material. So the first texture I'm going to need for this material is my diffuse. So I'm going to select logs underscore diffuse, which is the one that gives it color. And then inside of here, I am going to hold down T and then left click and that is going to bring that texture in there or alternatively you can just type in texture sample and add it in the details panel but drag this into the base color just like that and it should give your material a little bit of color now to make it so you know exactly what it's going to look like instead of using the sphere mesh, what I'm actually going to do is set the preview mesh based on the current content browser selection. So having said that, I'm going to select the logs mesh and then press that button, give it a couple of seconds. And what you'll notice is it's going to try and render the wood item in here so we can actually see how it works. And if I zoom in close enough, you can see I've actually got some wood here now and that is sort of what it's going to look like in our game. So what I've still got to do is quickly introduce my normal map. So I'm just going to drop this in here just like that. And you'll notice from that, you're going to get a little bit of extra depth. But for me, that is a good piece of uh, logs. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and close this, making sure I save the changes that I've just made. And then, what I'm going to do is open up the logs mesh if it hasn't automatically just generated in the material. If that's all done, what I'm going to do is open up my wood pickup item, go to the viewports, and inside of here where I've got my static mesh, I'm going to delete this. And then for my static mesh, sorry, don't delete the box, go to static mesh, and then with your materials, 
sorry, go to your static mesh, just set this to logs, which is logs underscore the mesh, the item that you just created, zoom in, and you're gonna have to scale this up so it fits in the box, but that's not too much of an issue. When you're doing this scaling, just make sure you're only applying this to the static mesh. Now you'll notice the box is actually attached to the static mesh, so I'm going to drop here onto the default scene root for that, which is going to separate the box and the static mesh. And now I can make the static mesh as big as I want. But generally, I want to keep this in the box just like this. And I'm going to move it down. So now if I compile this, look over here in my game, you can see I have got the wood. And if I run over to this wood, it's a little bit more convincing and it just looks a bit more like wood really and that is it and that is a proper pickup item there now if you wanted to you could you could go ahead and move your blueprint you could properly place it on the floor rotate it and all that kind of stuff um, but what you might want to do is you might actually want to put sort of maybe like a light over it so the player knows it's something that they can pick up uh, which would be one way of doing things and that's what i'm going to do so instead of a light, I'm actually going to use a particle system. And the reason why I'm using a particle system is because there's this nice little shimmer effect that you can get, uh, that we use, uh, that we're going to use for this. And you guys are going to recognize this from the loot pickup. If you go inside of here in the viewport, we've got this particle system and it's called P underscore dead man salute. So I'm just going to do the same particle system for the template just call this p underscore dead man's loot and you should find that and you're going to notice suddenly this wood is going to shine like a diamond and what i'm going to do is just scale this down so it covers the wood just like that and then if we go into our game press play and then if we look at the wood on the floor there you as a player are going to know that that is something that you're going to want to pick up and then you run over it and now it's in your inventory. I can pick up this one over here as well. It's in my inventory and it looks good. So now we've got that all set up and we are happy with our pickup item. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my pickup items and I'm going to duplicate my wood. And I'm gonna do this so that I can use this for a base for a key uh, for a key that the player can pick up. So I'm just going to give this the name key pickup. And then I'm going to create a new folder in here, just like we did with the wood, and we're going to give it the name key. And inside of here, we are going to have the files for the key. So I'm going to go and grab those. And for me, that was inside of my project folder again. So I'm going to go and grab that. So um, just open up your RPG assets, pick up items, and then key. And then inside of here, you should have a texture and an OBJ file. Just click, drag, and drop, and then just import those in just like that. What we're going to do once again is just open the material that's created for us. If you haven't got one already, just go and create this. And then what I'm going to do is delete that, right click, type in texture sample. And then for the texture, we're just going to use key. Uh, so we got key B underscore texture, and then hook this up into the base color. Now to give us a little bit of shine, what I'm going to do is just add in a constant to the metallic because it's entirely metallic. So we're going to set this to one. And then I'm going to add a constant into the roughness as well, just to give it a bit of shine. So metallic should be one. Roughness now, roughness now because it's dirty, it's not going to be completely sort of smooth. I'm going to set this to something like 0 0.4. And that is going to give us that really nice brass looking metal effect that I'm after. Actually, let me set this down to 0 0.3. And then for the preview mesh, what I'm going to do is just select it in the content browser, which is this file here, key underscore B underscore O2 and then drop that in and it can take you a little while to find it it's a very small item so you might not see that in there so if that is the case i'm just going to apply the changes that i've just made and i'm just going to quickly introduce this into my key pickup so i'm going to open this up go to my static mesh 
and I'm going to change this to key. Go to my viewport and what I'm going to do is just move this up and I'm going to scale it up as well. So let's just scale this up so it fits in the box nice and big just like that. And from there we are good and just detach your particle system if it's scaling with the key because that's not something that we want. So I'm going to scale this back down and hopefully now if we drag this into your scene, press play, this key should look exactly like the wood did. Now it's slightly under the ground, that's not an issue, just pull this up and then we can do it again. And now we have our key pickup item which is pretty cool. What I need to quickly do is change some code inside of here so when you run over it, it's going to change it to the key instead of the item ID and that's really simple and the way we're going to do this is just by changing inventory item 1, 2, 3 and so on when you pick it up to a different number. Now as for actually getting the number that we need, we can get that in our item ID list which if you remember is something that we can access from our inventory. Go to our graph and you can see we've got the different IDs. So 0 is our bag which is empty, number 1 is our door key, number 2 is our loot key and number three, uh, sorry, loot box and number four. You know what, I'm gonna ignore that because I'm just getting ahead of myself. But the one that I'm after is our door key. So I'm gonna go up to there, follow it along and it's number one. So instead of changing all of these numbers to three as part of those pick as part of that pickup item for the key, I am just gonna make it change it to one. So one, 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 and one, and one more, and that's it. So now, if we compile this, press play, and then pick up this key with our bag open, you are going to notice it's going to set it to the key instead of the wood, which is exactly what I'm looking for it to do. And then if I pick up the wood, it goes to the wood and that's all good. So our inventory system is looking nice. We've got some really cool pickup items and that is gonna be my cue to end the video. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.